hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. Today we are headed out to Willow Springs Raceway for some McLaren action. Let's roll. I gotta give a special shout out to Omaze for sponsoring today's video and making this track content possible. I'm actually really excited about going to Willow Springs today. For one reason, because I'm getting that drift car, Willow Springs is a fantastic place to practice drifting. They've got a massive skid pad and they even set up some drift events. So it's cool to see about how far it is from my house. And another reason, we're driving a McLaren 570S Spider today. I love these lights on California freeways. They're supposed to stage the traffic so there's less of it, but it's also a giant racetrack with a freeway speed limit on the other side. <laughs> I love passing this place. This honestly reminds me of the sickest water slide of all time, although that wouldn't work out well for you. This is actually pretty crazy that I'm driving the 570S today in terms of timing. This morning, McLaren released pictures on their Instagram with a picture of a rear end of a 570S that looked a little bit more intense than that. Potentially, people are calling it the 600LT, a full-fledged performance version of the entry-level 570S. Here we are. It's so cool. I used to watch videos on this track all the time from Motor Trend, and actually being out here, I took my Huracan out onto Big Willow, and then doing it again today, such a cool thing. Just got myself all signed in, let's hit the track. The McLaren 570S that I'll be driving later today is doing laps, and they're about to go out in this M2 to get some B-roll shots, and I figured, why not get some for the channel? guys got 1DX over there, this crazy stabilizer, hey, 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 audio hey. guy. We're out here at turn five and six. It's crazy to see the elevation changes on foot. You don't get a grasp for it when you see a track map or even if you play it in video games, it really takes driving the track to understand how much these things go up and down, especially a track like Laguna Seca. That corkscrew has, I believe, somewhere around a seven story drop from top to bottom. I mean, look how much higher up the McLaren is than we are all the way down there. So I am here at Willow Springs Raceway thanks to Omaze who is giving away this 2018 McLaren 570S Spider. You guys know I've reviewed these in the past. I'm absolutely in love with the car. It's amazing the performance for the value that you get. This thing is worth $250,000 and all you have to do is click the link in the description below. If you donate $10 or more to Men's Health, you're automatically entered to win this thing. They take care of taxes, they take care of shipping and you end up with an incredible supercar. So let's take this out on the track and see how fun it really is. All right, so hopefully at this point, you guys have seen my review of the 570S, whether that be in Geneva or in Southern California. But if not, I've got an awesome opportunity to show you guys what the 570S Spider is like on the track. So some performance figures for you guys. We've got a twin turbocharged 3.8 liter V8 that makes 562 horsepower and 443 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60, despite it being rear wheel drive, is three seconds flat. And because of the low curb weight of 3,200 pounds, this thing pulls like a monster in the straights. Here we go on the straightaway, 120, 130, 140. Oh, 
On corner exit, it limits the boost a little bit with traction control on in order to prevent the boost from kicking in and you going completely sideways. Nice little safety feature, although on the track I would prefer to have a little bit more control than that. The 650S and the 720 don't do that, but you get so much performance for the money with this car in terms of straight line speed, in terms of how the steering feels in your hands, how the car rides on the road. It's got a monocell carbon monocoque that weighs just 165 pounds. I mean, that's less than I weigh, and that's the entire carbon fiber monocell. Unbelievable, and because it's so lightweight, it's just a joy to drive, and that rear wheel drive layout in the 570 is just playful. Oh, this is such a fun track. My buddy Malcolm races spec boxers out here every weekend. I really do want to get into racing to better my driving skills and to just have some little bit of fun with a tiny competitive edge, although, I mean, Porsche spec boxer racing has a massive competitive edge to it, but it would be a fun thing to participate in Honestly, what's most impressive to me about this McLaren is the brakes. The brakes work so dang well that if you think you're entering a corner a little too fast, you're hard on the brakes and you're right back at the speed you need to be. This has a more conventional setup suspension-wise than the 650S or the 720S, which means it's not able to be quite as supple on the road and as firm at the same time but wow that was 147 miles an hour right there that seven speed double clutch just shifts so quickly you've got a rocker layout as with all mclarens on the paddles where you can actually upshift with your right hand and then you can flick your fingers forward for a downshift too with the same hand pretty trick i gotta say if this is my car i think i'd turn traction off and send it sideways but I don't think they'd like that, <laughs> but whoever wins this car can do whatever the heck they want with it, and I am so jealous of that, my gosh. To the lucky winner of this thing, be safe and have a heck of a lot of fun. I mean, it's probably going to be pretty hard not to have a lot of fun in this thing, but it is certainly powerful. All right, let's bring it back into the pits. So now that I've finished up driving the McLaren, there's a little bit of time left out on track, and obviously I don't want to waste that. So I'm thinking the straightaway is perfectly flat. How about we retest the E63's 0 to 100 mile an hour launch and see what we can get on the V-Box. Got the V-Box set up, the GoPros, let's head out. I put the car in drift mode. Let's see if we can send it a little bit on this hairpin up here. It's a pretty high speed track. So honestly, my experience with drifting at really high speeds is limited. So I don't want to go crazy, but this turn looks doable. <laughs> All right, well, now that I have heat soaked the car and it is 100 degrees out, let's see how fast this thing can do zero to 60, shall we? Let's put it back into track and we'll do a little launch action. drive back on so much more stability i'm going 80 miles an hour right here that's about how fast i'd have to be traveling to send this drift that would be scary <laughs> so much respect for pro drifters that takes a lot of guts that mclaren has some big big top end i wasn't able to hit the same top speed on that straightaway as i was in the mclaren in this thing even though i've got more power in the e63 by a lot that was awesome. You know what I never got to see was my 0 to 100 time. Let's see what I got for that. Hot out here, so that was definitely a heck of a lot slower than normal. 0 to 63 seconds, 0 to 100, 7.2. Oh, I need to come out here more often. 
So that was an absolute blast out on the track. This thing is so fast, it's ridiculous. 563 horsepower and only 3,200 pounds is a recipe for a fun car. And the fact that you can win this is insane. So once again, go to amaze.com slash supercar or click the link in the description below. Donate $10 or more to Men's Health and you might have a chance to win this McLaren 570S. I know for a fact I'm donating right after this video is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.